Hey guys, so this is a review on Doctor Strange. This movie was so trippy. I, I did not see this. I, I, I did not see all that coming. Now, when Doctor Strange was coming out, and I wasn't very excited for it. The only, like I said in my previous videos, the only reason I really wanted to see it is because I saw Benedict Cumberbatch do amazing in Star Trek 2 and that's that, that's the only thing I can think of that I've seen Benedict Cumberbatch in and that's the only thing that really made me want to watch it I I didn't think Doctor Strange was in you know a cool looking character I didn't think the plot would be all that well I didn't think the action would be that cool but everything I thought wrong the action was awesome the plot was awesome the characters were good, and when when it comes to the characters, I'll I'll tell you later what I didn't like about them. But to start out with my positives, one Benedict Cumberbatch was a great Doctor Strange, and he, even before he was Doctor Strange, he was a great Doctor, and that's what I liked about it. He he was an arrogant but good Doctor, and then when he gets in a crash and messes up his hands that's when he tries to go to the mystical arts because some guy you know broke his back and all these other things and he he's walking perfectly fine so he wants to know how he did it and where he did it and when he does get trained that's when he starts becoming Doctor Strange the Marvel hero that you actually wanted Doctor Strange and and like I said, I didn't think it would be that good. I didn't think he would be an interesting character. He was an interesting character. The humor in it was actually funny. And even when it wasn't like laughing funny, it was a, heh, <laughs> I see what he did there. Like, it doesn't always have to make you laugh. It just has to make sense. And that's that's what I think most of the humor was. Like, every movie, not all the humor hit. But I would say good majority the humor did hit, and some of it was laughing funny. Not all of it, but, you know, the, the majority was was spot on. What I loved about this movie, and I didn't like Guardians of the Galaxy. I know a lot of people love that movie, and there's some stuff in it that I really did like, and I understand why people do like Guardians of the Galaxy, but me, personally, I wasn't a huge fan of it, and I think it's actually one of the weaker Marvel films. But one thing I did like about Guardians of the Galaxy is the same thing I liked about Doctor Strange is they still tie in or they still make references to the Avengers. Like in Doctor Strange, how they said that the Avengers, you know, deal with the physical stuff and then they deal with the mystical stuff. Stuff like that. And the end credit scenes I liked. The second one, it was okay. But the first one, the first one got me really hyped for a certain movie. And the reason that end credit scene made me really hyped is because there was a certain thing that they said that it's been bugging me for years. And it's it's honestly been, I, I thought they were just going to like leave it, you know, not care about it. But when they mentioned what happened years ago, I was like, finally. Finally, we get to find out what actually happened and what's going to happen after they find out what did happen. And I know I'm being very vague, but if you did see the movie, you know what I'm talking about. And like I said, the humor was good, the action was good, the characters were good. But, and like I said, I love Marvel. Marvel to me is way better than DC. But as a Marvel fan, I do have to admit one thing DC has that's way better than us and that's villains when I think of good Marvel villains I think of Loki I think of kind of abomination I think of Thanos or Ultron but if I think of DC villain I think of the Joker reverse flash the Riddler zoom there's lots of amazing DC villains. And not just not just like good DC villains. They 
they are like if if I, you know, the Joker is one of my top villains. Reverse Flash is one of my top villains. Marvel, their villains just they're not that good. Loki, I really like Loki, but other than Loki, there isn't a great Marvel villain. Not in the not in the movies anyway. And like for an example, Sandman. I love Sandman, but Sandman in Spider-Man 3, he wasn't the best character. Venom, great villain. He wasn't the best character in Spider-Man 3. DC just has a way of showing villains in the correct way in movies. But, like I said, Marvel, I do like more. But getting back to the actual review, Doctor Strange, like I said, the villain... He's forgettable. Uh, he was, he was the better one of the better of the forgettable villains. Like he's not, a, he's not as good as Loki, but he is better than Whiplash and and Malekith or whatever the elf's name was in Thor two. For the most part, the villain in Doctor Strange is, like I said, better. Still not good though, and still very forgettable. The movie, the movie was pretty long. I felt like I, I I don't know how long it really is, but I felt like it was pretty long. But I felt like it needed to be pretty long. Even the times that's like okay, kind of want to like end it a little soon. I'm glad they didn't because. You know, two, three minutes after I felt like that, I was like, wait, what am I thinking? This is awesome. And in the end, I would give this movie a B. I thought this movie was a great movie, a great origin story, and it made me very, very excited for the future Marvel films. What did you think about the movie? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Comment below and let me know. And like always, like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.